What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Coinbase Wallet. This is an amazing place to keep, to share, to store all your cryptos and now NFTs into just one place. So, um, actually, it, this is like one of the a few uh, wallets of, of course, the online wallets that I have available, crypto wallets, of course, that I do love to have. As you can see, here is um, the crypto Coinbase wallet. So whether you can have this into your phone or you have this directly into your website, it's totally up to you. In my case, I'm going to be showing you how to use this one into a as an extension. But it's the same process to use it as a Coinbase as an application. So the very first thing you want to do is to go into the Coinbase.com. You can go into the fast forward slash wallet, or you can go directly here where it says Coinbase, and then later on you can explore the wallet here. So it's going to be taking you to download the Coinbase wallet. So you can download this coin, um, Coinbase wallet for iOS, for your Android, or for a Chrome extension, which I do have now available here. So I'm going to delete this extension, remove, remove, and I'm going to download this once again. So I'm going to be showing you how do I do this. So I'm going to hit into add to the Brave to my actual uh, server. I hit into add the extension and automatically it's now been installed. So there's two things I do like to do. First of all, I wanted to go into Coinbase. So I'm going to focus into signing into my Coinbase account. This is not required, but this is strongly suggested that you have a Coinbase account. It's a, if you have a Coinbase account, you can now have a Coinbase wallet. You can link to both of them into just one place and all of your cryptos, everything is gonna be just listed into one place. You don't have to be using a lot, a lot of wallets. But if you have something, let's say for example, you have uh, a VMV, uh, wallet or you have a MetaMask, you can import that into Coinbase. So how can I do this? I'm going to go back here into the extension that we have just added. Focus into the extensions here. And as you can see here, you have the Coinbase wallet extension. So I want to click into pen. So I want to see this into the upper side. So I'm going to click the, and this one is going to be taking us into the get started section of Coinbase. So I click the once again. And now as you can see, it says, welcome to Coinbase wallet. So let's go into, I already have a wallet. If you have a MetaMask account, if you have uh, some VMV wallet, whatever. So I'm gonna click into, I already have a wallet. And this one is gonna be asking you for linking a Coinbase wallet app, connect the ledger wallet, or choose the entry recovery phrase. So the recovery phrase is a 12 word recovery phrase that, or the seed phrase, of course, that you received the very first time you created a wallet. So what I wanted to do is to paste this 12 word seed phrase. Let's say for example, that I have my MetaMask cited in, but I don't know what is my 12 words uh, seed phrase. So I'm gonna hit into the X mark, I hit into got it. Here is my account. I go in here, which is my account. I wanted to focus into settings. And now as you can see, what I wanted to do is to look out for the backup of your data or to just check it out. The searching settings, let's go for seed or phrase. And here I have a real secret recovery phrase. So I click the and I need to reveal the secret recovery phrase so I can copy this um, text once again and I can import that into Coinbase wallet. And automatically it's gonna be asking me to create a passcode. This passcode is to unlock the wallet each time you use only this device. In my case, it's this computer. Let's go and type something like this. This is a good one. I need to verify the same passcode and I need to agree to the terms and privacy policy. After that, I'm gonna hit now into submit. And just like that, my wallet is now been synced and just linked it into my Coinbase wallet. And I didn't have to create absolutely anything. As you can see here is my money added into crypto. The DAI money, I'm gonna back into my assets. The Chihuahua token is now been listed here. So everything is now been added automatically. So how can we now work here into Coinbase wallet? If you wanted to buy another token, focus into buy. So you can choose to transfer from another wallet or to add the crypto with Coinbase Pay. 
Coinbase Pay is a place where you can buy um, products, um, NFTs, and a bunch of stuff using an account with Coinbase. So what I just need to do is to sign in. Here's my passcode or create a free account here. And then the process is actually really, really simple. Just provide the token that you want to buy and provide uh, how much money you want to spend. And then you have to import your credit card, totally safe. And it's not that hard to do that. So I'm gonna go back here and your money should be appearing to the Coinbase. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be showing you something else, which is the swap button. The swap button is the one that's gonna be helping you to change one token for another one. So I'm gonna go into swap now. And let's say that I wanted to send $1 of DAI and I wanted to receive BNV token. So I needed to go and continue. Now you should see that this one appears into your account if this is the first time you're here. So this one says that we need to pay a network fee. So that means that of course what I need to do is to top up my ETH balance and I wanted to buy this from Coinbase Pay. If you don't want to pay a lot of money, I can totally suggest you to use another network. So networks are different places where uh, your tokens are currently being operated. So instead of paying with Ethereum, which I think is like a lot of money, I'm gonna be paying only with my smart chain. So just that you guys did get the actual idea, you're gonna be paying $39 into Ethereum for one transaction and into smart chain, you're almost paying like 50 cents, I guess. It's like really, really cheap. So um, that's totally up to you, of course. And here in the transactions with WebPayment, all the transactions that you have available that you have just done with BNB, with Ethereum, uh, with the tokens, everything's gonna be appearing in here. So you can see here is the actual track data. Here is the amount that I have sent it, the from, the to, the date, the network. The network fee was three cents. Now it was a little bit less, dot zero three cents. So it's nothing. That's the what. That's the reason why I could totally suggest you to use BNB Smart Chain Network. And lastly, I'm gonna hit into the assets. We have the bridge. The bridge is gonna be helping you to move one crypto into another one between a blockchain. But what? But why do I need a bridge? Because there are a few tokens that are not available into every network. For example, BNB token is not available into the Ethereum network. It's only into the smart chain of BNB. That's the reason why you wanted to use the bridge options. So if you want to change from DAI of the Ethereum, you can change the same token and bridge that into another actual uh, network, which in this uh, which in this case it appears as Polygon. So uh, this is just like a broad way how we can get started here into the Coinbase wallet. All of the wallets into crypto wallets work as the same. So if you are using, if you already uh, used MetaMask before, if you have used crypto, you have used uh, the blockchain of BNB, it's not that hard to use the Coinbase wallet. And if you use this into your actual uh, phone, smartphone, it's gonna be actually the same process. It's not that hard. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Try to have your secret recovery phrase into a safe area because you're gonna be needed, because you're gonna be consulting that uh, seed phrase a lot. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys. And well, I'll see you on the next video.